In this video I'm going to explain how you calculate the seven different types of costs that you can look at for any business. So this is showing here all the different types of costs along the top and then down here it depends how many units of output we have. We're going to imagine that this is a car factory and we're going to look at situations from producing no cars at all to producing four cars in the factory. So the total fixed cost, the nature of a fixed cost is that it stays the same no matter what the level of output is. So even when you're not producing any cars, you still have to pay £40 in your fixed cost. This would be things like rent and insurance. They have to pay for those things just to have the factory there, even if they don't produce any cars at all. If they produce one car, their fixed cost is still £40. There's no difference. If they produce two, it's 40, three, it's 40, four, it's 40. It's always 40 pounds. The total variable cost, these are the costs which change with output. So every time you produce one extra car, you're going to have to pay, for example, for the tires and for the parts for the engine to go inside the car. So these are going to increase every time you have one more unit of output. So when you have no output, this won't be relevant at all. When you have one unit of output, your variable cost it's saying is six. And then we have some other ones in here. How are we going to work out what this is here, the total variable cost? Well, we know that total cost is total fixed cost plus total variable cost. That's how you work out your total cost. So therefore, if this is 60, and we know that our total fixed cost was 40. To find out what the variable cost is, it must be the total costs minus the total fixed cost will give us our total variable cost. So in this case, total cost is 60, take away the 40 equals 20. So then, to work out our total costs, when we don't have any output, it's 40 plus nothing. When we have one unit, it's 40 plus 6. Two units, 40 plus 11. Three units, 40 plus 15. And then we know that when it's four units, it's 60. The next one is the average fixed cost. If you have any average, you just need to divide it by the amount of output. So this is going to be total fixed costs divided by output. The first one, we don't have any output, so we'll just put a dash for that. But the next one, our total fixed cost here, total fixed cost is 40, and we have one unit of output. So 40 divided by 1 is 40. The next one, our total fixed cost is 40 again, because it always is. And we have two units, so this is 20. The next one, total fixed cost again, 40, divided by 3. And that one will be 13.3 recurring. And four units, it will be 40 divided by 4 which is 10. The next one, average variable cost. This is total variable cost divided by output. Again, the first one, no units, so we'll just put the dash in. Then the next one, the total variable cost. These are here. This is 6 divided by 1, which is 6. The next one, 11 divided by 2 units is 5.5. The next one is 15, total variable cost, divided by 3 units, which is 5. And then for 4 units, it's 40. Sorry, it's not. It's 20. So it's 20 divided by 4, and it's 5 again. This one, average cost, this is your total cost divided by your output. So again, this one we don't do because it's zero units of output. But the next one, your total costs here are 46. Divided by 1 is 46. Next one, 
51 divided by 2 units now, which is 25.5. 55 then divided by 3 units, which is 18.3 recurring. And then the last one, 4 units, your total costs here are 60 divided by 4 is 15. Then we get to marginal cost. This is the one that you might think, oh, what's that? Remember, marginal means an additional amount. So this is saying if you have an additional amount of output, how much do your total costs go up by? So your total costs are over here and you're looking to see how much they go up by when you make an additional amount or an additional unit of output. And again, here we're not producing any. But when we decide in the business to produce one car rather than no cars, our total costs go from 40 to 46. So therefore our marginal cost was six. When we decide not to produce one, but to produce two, our total costs go from 46 to 51. And therefore the marginal cost, the additional cost to the business of producing that extra unit is five. When we decide to produce three cars rather than two, our total costs go from 51 to 55. Therefore we've got four additional costs pounds because we're producing three rather than two cars. With the fourth car, if we decide to make four rather than three, our total costs go from 55 to 60 and therefore our marginal cost is five. And the formula for this is the change in total cost divided by the change in output. You need to learn this formula because you won't always be looking just simply at having one extra unit. Sometimes it might be a different change in output. So those are the seven costs.